Amstrad DRX100. This is the very first Sky Digital box I ever had with my very original Sky Digital subscription. I had analog Sky before this, but this is the very first one. It's not the original one I owned. I bought this off eBay recently for nostalgia purposes and for the purposes of this video. This is made in 1998. I've got it hooked up and uh, let's see if it's still usable. So this is back when Sky Digital was very new as well as people we was all changing over from the Sky Analog platform. On the back you've got RF Air and RF1, Aerial in, weirdly, that's unusual. Left and right audio, two SCART sockets. I'm not sure why there's Aerial in port on it. Must be something to do with the loop out feature. And the dish port, just a single LMB, single tuner is in this system. This is way before Sky Plus was even thought about. So can it work in 2021? Now I've added this music using editing software as there was music in the background when the EPG was on back in the day. But sadly Sky decided to turn that off as no one really uses these boxes anymore. So I've added this music using editing software to make it more nostalgic. This is actually the original music that Sky would have had back in the early 90s, the late 90s, sorry. So it's the same music. I might get copyright hit for it, I don't know. But yeah, the, if anyone's listening about copyright, it's for fair use policy just to show what it would have been like in 1998, 1999, 2000. So on the screen now, in a little window, you can see that this is not the original firmware that this box would have had but obviously because Sky updates all the time this is the la last version of firmware that this box can support so if it, it would looked a bit different in 1998 I think I thought it looked really cool and it's very rare unfortunately to find one a box that actually still runs that firmware because the dish auto if you got it connected to the dish it will auto update regardless of if you want to want to or not. The only way you're going to find one with the original firmware is if someone packaged one away. So as regards to if it works in 2021, it certainly does. It works as a standard definition 3 view receiver and to be honest it works better now than it ever did because Sky have decrypted a lot of the channels. Uh, so most of the channels work without even well, most of the free to air, should I say, channels work without even a video card inserted. So this works great if you don't mind not having the HDMI resolutions as a three view box, three sat box, should I say? Now this is a portal where you would have sort open and play jam and everything. Sadly, all them features have all long gone. Do you remember Beehive Bedlam, Bedlam and all them Sky games? Have a look at one of my other videos and you can see a video about the Sky Games. But yeah, that, that's all gone unfortunately because that was actually broadcast via the uh, provider. It wasn't actually stored in the box. So let's try a program, shall we? Now, I might get copyright strikes for playing footage, but let's try it anyway. Oh, I didn't try it at the minute. You'll, you'll notice how slow the box updates as well and the further you go through the EPG the slower it goes. Now there is a reason for that and because this box is likely has a very slow processor compared to the, like the later pace models etc. Uh, this is one of the very first boxes that was ever made and it, if you go further on down the EPG, like Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, it will still pull the listings for you, but it will take a while compared to anything modern. You will see that now. See how it like, sort of draws it on. I quite like that. I quite find that nostalgic, and I'm very impressed that it still works even in 2021 for this seven day EPG. So Sky must have not changed the EPG format since 1998. Obviously, it's different on SkyQ. If you've got a SkyQ dish or a SkyQ LMB, it's not going to work with that. But with anything that uses a Sky HD or any sort of dish like that, this box works just fine. 
like I said earlier in the video, this box does not have the music anymore. I've added that in using editing software. So but if you uh, are expect, if you're feeling nostalgic and thinking I want to buy one of these old boxes just to get this music in the background on the EPG, you won't get it unfortunately because I've just added that in for nostalgic purposes of, of this video. So let's have a look through the uh, list of uh, things. Now one thing you'll notice, you do get music channels on this, which you do not if you have an active FreeSat subscription. It's strange that is, I thought. And they all work as well. So let's try watching some television. The two or three games we've played this year, there's been a... Let's take a little look at the scores now. Holly is on £100, David on £400. Jenny still in the lead with £2,700. I feel like I missed out on, so uh, yeah, no... Oh dear, it looks like Channel 5 is having technical problems. but. It's a good thing to say because it's silent audio. Do you notice how the screen redraws quite slowly? That's how slow the processor is in this box. So you can actually use this to watch decrypted channels as long as you've got a valid and enabled viewing card even now. I did plug mine in from our Sky HD box upstairs and it did show the encrypted channels. Unfortunately, I couldn't show you footage of that because the uh, recording software detected somehow, I'm not sure how, that it was actually an encrypted format and it would refuse to record it. Do I recommend you go and buy a vintage box to watch television? Not really. Unless you're really into nostalgia and you like these menus. It does work. It's, it works on a 55 inch modern television as long as that television can su support SCART or composite. Or use a HDMI to SCART adapter sort of thing. It, the picture's awful <laughs> on a 55 inch television. It, it looks lovely on a CRT. So if you've got a CRT and you're feeling nostalgic, these boxes work just fine in 2021. Uh, Sky still use the same broadcast technology as did back there. The initial problems experienced by BP were due to not having enough lorry drivers. So that was crazy, wasn't it, in the news? Anyway, so thank you for watching. I hope you found this interesting. I did. And uh, yeah, so uh, they're really cheap on eBay. But I would warn you, if you do decide to go for the DRX100 model, they was always notorious for tuna failures. So make sure you bear that in mind. I'm so happy mine still works. So uh, thank you for watching and have a pleasant night. Goodbye.